Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight. I wanted to talk about a specific star in this video, and it is one that um, will play a part in the new moon in Scorpio, which is coming up on Friday of this coming week. It is a star that Mercury has recently activated in its transit, and it is a star that the sun is going to align with in, um, in a conjunction as well a couple of days after the new moon. So this is really strong energy and it's interesting because it is not a star that I have particularly connected with um, very much. It is also not really um, particularly well known or certainly um, not from, you know, it's not one of the more, um, I don't, can't really use the word mainstream, but, you know, when we're talking about fixed stars and star seeds, um, you know, this isn't always one that comes up. However, it is talking to me um, with great depth. So I wanted to sort of bring it to you and just maybe explore a few um, maybe alternative or additional meanings and energies that come through. So the star I'm talking about is a crux in the crux constellation. And this is the Southern Cross. Now, this constellation is very well known um, because it features on a lot of the national flags. Um, for countries within the Southern Hemisphere, um, but it is not visible for us in the North. And, um, you know, like I said, it's not one that I've ever really connected with, despite the fact that it is actually opposing my part of fortune in my natal chart. Um, so, you know, this is energy that potentially is going to come online um, as my consciousness grows, as I sort of move through this lifetime through the opposition. And it's certainly, and um, that is certainly the case, or that's what I'm finding. And, you know, through this transit, and this star is in the Scorpio um, sign, so I guess, you know, I've talked about how Scorpio season this year is particularly strong and powerful because Scorpio's ruling planet um, is in the anoretic degree of Capricorn. And this is Pluto, of course, that we're talking about. So Pluto is intensifying and enhancing any sort of Scorpio and um, energies at this time. And as we move towards the Scorpio new moon, you know, it is getting even more stronger. And of course, when we're working with Scorpio energy, you know, it is very much about transformation, but it also requires us to really sit with and look at and explore our shadow side. And I know that's coming up for a lot of people as well so when let, let's talk about a crux because it's it's really interesting and there's some really beautiful themes that come through with this star energy so it is currently at 12 degrees 12 minutes of scorpio um, so very much linked to water and um, it's said to be a water planet um, but it's not so much sort of you know the beings that are connected to a crux that I'm interested in because um, when I'm working with galactic astrology and interpreting a chart I'm very much interested in the signature of that star the traits that it is possibly lending the gifts that it is bringing through and some of the themes and the energies that it is activating for you and for us all in the charts and obviously you know this is um a star that is being activated through transiting mercury we've already gone through that um you know through transiting sun it is playing a part in the new moon chart and um, with a three degree orb so i will be talking about that in my new moon video um but you know when we are working with um a crux you know instantly we've got this image of the cross of two paths crossing each other of meeting in the middle and so you know instantly you know I'm kind of thinking about um you know the masculine and the feminine edge energies coming together and um, you know the potential for sort of the separation to come together and for us to be able to meet in the middle and acknowledging you know that there are two different paths or different forms or different states of being but a crux sort of brings us 
the ability or the invitation to find that sort of meeting, that common ground where we can all sort of stand in a more um, sort of neutral stance and neutral position and of honour that honour that there are opposing opinions or opposing states of being, but actually is about finding that middle ground, that mid, that meeting point, that crux. Um, so, you know, we've got sort of that imagery straight away. Obviously, you know, the cross is very much linked to religious symbolism. In Christianity, we have the cross, the cross, the crucifixion story. So again, you know, there are themes of victimhood, of crucifixion, of sacrifice, of, you know, having to go through, you know, extreme pain, extreme grief, grief, sorry, extreme loss potentially in order to find the light to be reborn much in the way that Christ was when he died on the cross. You know, there are themes of devotion coming through with this star. And, um, you know, as, as I said, you know, an understanding that where there might be pain and pain is part of the human experience, we cannot move through this human existence without encountering and without experiencing, without working with pain. It makes us realise and gives us the awareness that there is always purpose to the pain and that there will always be a higher meaning, even if it is not always instantly obvious, a gift in the challenge, a gift in the pain. And, you know, because we are working with Scorpio energy, there is this real sense of deep healing, but also transmutation, transformation. And obviously, you know, regeneration comes through, rebirth, and that is brought through with the symbolism of the cross, with the story of Christ. Again, you know, with this um, star, it is about having this awareness that we may change form and things may shift and change, but there is always an inner light that cannot be extinguished. And there's also a real sense of, you know, of having to face our fears and which, you know, ultimately is our deep shadow side. But that, you know, when we may get to what we think is the end, actually, we are just stepping into another sort of version of ourselves and that, you know, we have to be able to surrender to that point. We, we're reminded that the end is never the end um, and that we will always, you know, continue, albeit in a different form. So, you know, this is bringing us strength, resilience, the ability to face challenges, to understand that we will always experience our greatest growth through adversity and through challenge and that that is part of our human experience. Now with crux, with the crux, we also have the notion of an anchor. So again, anchoring us in to our soul journey, keeping us steady, keeping us um, grounded in many ways, even though this is falling within a water sign, there is a sense of keeping steady under pressure. And um, as a crux has been used as a navigational tool for eons, you know, there is this sort of symbolism of hope, of faith, of coming home to the self, of a crux being a guide for many, you know, again, so that's a really beautiful sort of role and trait coming through with this star. Um, I'm also drawn to the fact that, um, you know, the word crux itself through, you know, this constellation crux, what is, what does crux mean? And obviously we use this word, you know, to get to the crux of something. It is the heart of the matter. It is the heart, what lies deep within, what is important, you know, what is that sort of, um, if you're trying to get to the crux of something, you're trying to find the meaning. And again, you know, this star really helps us to connect to the meaning, the meaning of life, the heart of the matter. And through that, you know, I'm led to really explore um, how that, how ultimately we are here to connect to our inner light, but that in order to carry our light within this human sort of experience within this 3D realm, we need to have it encased and carried within a vessel of um, a, a human body, our physical body. And it is bringing us back to the importance of the human body as a vessel to carry and to hold our light, our soul, our higher self. And, you know, we sort of often talk about, you know, having the body is a temple, but actually the presence of this star really does bring that home to us because we cannot experience all 
that is involved in the human sort of life, the human path, the human journey, if we are not physically here. And it is about having this beautiful opportunity to bring our light down into this realm, into this 3D realm to support the process, to support the ascension. But to be able to ascend fully, we need to descend, we need to be embodied, we need to come into the body to fully ground and anchor our light into the body, into this 3D physical realm in order that we can ascend and move up and out. And again, you know, that might sound like um, a real sort of unlike a contradiction, but actually, you know, a crux really remind, reminds us that this is our path. It is about coming home to ourselves, coming within the body, grounding that energy in, in order so that we can then move forward and transform and regenerate into a much higher, much more beautiful version of ourselves. So, you know, this is really being devoted to our bodies to understanding that you know they are sacred and that we have to honor them and we have to look after them and we have to see how sacred and divine they are and not just to be cast away or to be mistreated or to be ignored and to be um sidelined you know ultimately our bodies are like the main act of this show um, and you know again that might sound really weird but it was what was coming through really really strongly and of course you know we are working with the energy of the eight in 2024 Scorpio is the eighth sign and I have been repeatedly reminded about the importance of being in the body of being embodied of coming in and being able to sort of combine that spiritual self with the physical side which is ultimately what I'm talking about it is bringing the two together so we descend to be able to ascend and that just keeps coming through and um, so we also have you know with crux and um, crux is a crucible a container and you know it, again you know coming back to the theme of regeneration of rebirth um of longevity you know i'm reminded of the holy grail and the fact that you know so many people across history have tried to seek out the holy grail but really what is it this is like the understanding and this real sort of innate wisdom that actually we are eternal and even if we do change form physically our light is going to last forever and our soul continues you know regardless of what form it takes what sort of star it chooses to incarnate in you know what role it chooses to take on in order to serve you know this is eternity in action this is infinity and again you know with this beautiful sort of symbolism of the crucible the crux you know we're also reminded of you know alchemy spiritual alchemy awakening to our true nature and the truth of who we are so again you know this is about inner illumination and being able to really hold on to that and connect to that inner wisdom now um, I'm also drawn I, when I was sort of thinking about the um, sort of the pattern of the cross, you know, I suddenly realized that if you join the four um, corners on the outside, you have a diamond shape. And, you know, again, I've been working with diamond energy a lot this year. And for me, you know, this is about, you know, being reminded that you know, if you go to the outer ends of each path, it doesn't matter which path you take because you will always have that core inner light holding you at your center, pulling you back to source whenever, you know, you choose to come back. But also that, you know, we are here on this human journey to go down all these different paths, to try lots of different sort of um, outfits on for size, to try lots of different routes, to try lots of different ways different experiences but ultimately you know we have this crux this inner light holding us and guiding our way shining our light almost supporting us and cheering us on and you know as we sort of go out and try all these different routes you know we do create this um this sort of image of the diamond the shape of the diamond and, you know, and that is the jewel inside. So it is as if like the, it is the journey. This is what I'm trying to get to. It is the journey that is the that is of utmost importance. You know, we often think 
as humans, you know, working with soul purpose. We want to know what is our destiny, where, you know, where are we trying to get to, where, what is our ultimate goal? But actually by doing that, by focusing on that, we miss the gold that is part, that is inherent in the journey, in the path that we walk. And ultimately that is what is most important. So again, it is about staying, by staying on the path and choosing all these different options and different routes, you know, we can never make a wrong choice because it is that that is the jewel, that is the diamond, that is the gold. And that is what it is really important that we connect to and honour because that is you know, that's why we're here. That's why we've come. That's why we've chosen all these beautiful lifetimes to experience all the different ways, all the different paths that there are. But ultimately, you know, the gift is in the journey. You know, we have to walk every path in order to get back to ourselves, to that light, to that diamond that we hold inside. Yeah, and of course, you know, the diamond can also be seen as a kite and a kite is very much about sort of flying up you know having that freedom that lightness of being and um, allowing the air the energy to sort of dictate which which way you flow and also you know having that bigger picture which again you know is such a valuable part of this human journey being able to connect with your higher self to see things from a much higher perspective which brings you out of the sort of mundane and um, victim sort of mentality and that attachment to suffering it's when it's being it's having this different perspective and to understand that there is as i said you know when i started so much purpose in the pain, in the suffering, in being a victim, because ultimately, you know, this is about soul growth and this is about, um, you know, having this opportunity to experience all the different elements of being human in order to grow. I hope, um, you know, that has given you sort of some other ideas about how to work with crux, with the crux. The, so the constellation is crux, the star, which is the star at the bottom of the cross, the alpha star is called a crux. If you have crux, a crux in your star chart, in your galactic astrology, you know, this might be an energy, or this will be an energy that you are already working with, depending on which sort of planet or angle it is activating. But certainly, you know, it's coming through really, really strongly for us at a collective level as we move into the start of November. You know, again, you know, we are deep in Scorpio season. So this is very much about facing shadow but also acknowledging that where there is shadow there is huge amounts of light and really being able to start to bring those together and integrate them in order to find that wholeness that you know so many of us have become so disconnected from and ultimately you know it's that disconnection that is our greatest wound that separation from who we are from source from our inner light is our greatest wound but the, you know, the truth is it is only an illusion. And for as long as we keep sort of buying into and committing to that illusion, we will perpetuate it. But the second we realise that we never lost that light, we never lost that connection and it's been there all along, that is when all the separation and division will literally dissolve and we can step into the wholeness of who we are and find our way back home. So, um. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I am going to be coming on with a video about the new moon very soon. I've got all my notes. I just need to record it and edit it. So that will be coming out. So keep an eye on that because again, you know, there's so much to say about this new moon um, and, you know, some of the really powerful energies that are coming through. But I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. You can find out about me and my work at spiralbright.co.uk. Please like the video if, it, if it's resonated, share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will be back very soon. Thanks for watching.